Hey folks, welcome back. Today we're gonna make uh, some bangers and mash. Um, I came across it uh, last night and it's been a while since I've made it. So I thought I'd give it a shot today. We're gonna use uh, both the uh, fire boxes today. I'm gonna use the freestyle to, uh, to boil the potatoes uh, for, some, uh, for some mash and also the original fire box, I'm gonna use that uh, to cook the, uh, the sausages. I'm also going to make an onion sauce uh, to go on top of the uh, bangers and mash. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, I'm going to start off with uh, some charcoal, a little bit of charcoal. I'm trying, trying not to char the, uh, the onions too much. You just kind of want to you know, bring them up. I think I know how to do it. I'm just going to start off with a little bit of charcoal and build it all the way up. Uh, it might take a bit of time, but anyway, let's get to it. All right, let's get these fire boxes built. We're going to be using the Trangia to, uh, to boil this water. It's going to be a lot of potatoes and a lot of water, so I'm probably going to have to fill this thing all the way up. Time to get the other firebox going. I'm using uh, three Yukon Gold potatoes. Uh, that seems to be the best potatoes for, uh, for a nice creamy mash. I'm gonna get them all diced up so it uh, cooks a lot quicker and uh, hopefully everything turns out okay.
Well, I think it's lit. Gosh, I hope it's lit. Yep, it's lit. I'm just gonna let this bloom for a couple of seconds here before I uh, throw on the pot. So we've got the potatoes on the boil, now we've got to cut some onions. We've got this huge onion here, so I'm only going to use half of it. I'm gonna cut it lengthwise so I get some nice long strands of onions. Now uh, this looks pretty good. Time to get the other firebox going. As I said earlier, I'm not going to use too much charcoal from the get-go, uh, probably to that first set of uh, first set of holes right there. Again, we're just wanting to build that heat up. We don't want to immediately char that that onion, so it's going to take some time.
All right, let's get this uh, firebox pan on here and get that heated up and I'll check on the potatoes. Nice rolling ball on the potatoes. Everything seems to be going as planned. Looks like these potatoes are done. Yep, they seem to be done. I don't know, these Yukon Golds, is, they're kind of difficult to figure out, but I think it's done. Yeah, it looks pretty done. Let me grab another one. Tell me what you think. Yeah, I'd say it's done. We're pretty close to it. I'll go ahead and cover this up and uh, we'll go ahead and take it off the heat. I think we've just about used up all the alcohol on energy anyway, so we'll just put this aside and just let it cook some more on its own. You see, alcohol's all gone. Used it all up. Alright, so we've let it sit here for a couple of minutes. I'm going to stir these onions and we're going to get working on the mashed potatoes. Looks like we might need a little bit more heat just to build this up. I'm going to throw in a couple more uh, pieces of charcoal inside here. Let that get going. Time to work on the mashed potatoes. Let me go drain the water. Yep, I'm pretty happy with this. It looks like it's soft enough but not mushy. Yeah, it looks like it's cooked. It feels pretty soft. It's not too mushy. It still has some texture to it.
time to add some butter. I'm just going to cut that in. I think I have some uh, green onions that I can throw into this also. Now time to add a little bit of cream. just to bring it all together. I don't want to work it too much where it gets tasty. But I think it's uh, at a very good consistency right now. Yep, needs a little bit of salt too. Just a little bit of salt. Perfect consistency, at least perfect for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and close this up and put it to the side, and we can go ahead and work in on the rest of the meal. Just keep on working these onions, move it around so it doesn't get too too charred. I'm going to let this work down and then uh, come back whenever it's ready. Alright, I think we're just about there. I don't want it to go too, too dark on us. We'll just go ahead and take it off at this point. So I was trying to decide how many bangers I'm going to make today. One is definitely not enough. Two is definitely enough. But three is definitely a party. So we're going with three today. I'm going to go ahead and dribble some oil on top of this just to get that fun going. I can tell that the uh, charcoal detects are, uh, are starting, to, starting to heat up, so that's good. Get a little bit of a sizzle. Not too much, but just enough. I'm 
go ahead and babysit this and bring you guys back whenever it's ready. Time for the big reveal. That's looking pretty good. Nothing burnt. Everything nice and toasty brown. There was enough moisture that came out of those sausages to, uh, to give it a good steam. The mixture's cooked all the way through. We'll go ahead and take this off of here. And let's start making that onion gravy. going to drop a little bit more water inside here. It's going to take a little bit of time for it to come back to temp. I'm going to go ahead and scrape the sides, try and get that fond. Still a little bit too, still a little bit too, uh, too rough. I'm going to let it sit for a while. So some of the fawn at the bottom of the pan is starting to come off now, but may still need a little bit more time. We can go ahead and drop these onions in. We're going to give that a stir and just let that come back up to temp again. So there's many things that you can put into this grape. To keep it simple, I just like using Marmite and some mustard. About a tablespoon of both. Marmite has a lot of glutamates, but it does a lot better or enhances you know, the flavor when paired up with salt. It's going to be amazing. To get the gravy thick, I'm going to use a cornstarch slurry. I'm just going to slowly pour it in here and mix it up to make sure it gets incorporated. That's looking pretty good. It's, it's about there. It could be a little bit thicker, but I'm just going to let it cook down a little bit. All right, let's plate this sucker up. These mashed potatoes are still amazing. It's very fluffy. very smooth as you can see 
This is gonna be delicious. I am starving. Just gonna lay my sausages on top of the mashed potatoes. Where did I put that gravy? There we go. Look at that. This is gonna be amazing, guys. Oh, look at that. All right, folks, this is it. I can't wait to dig in. All right, I'm starving. So once again, thanks again for joining me. If you like this content, hit like, hit subscribe. If you have any suggestions, please post them in the comments. Thanks again, folks. Have a good burn.